finished um, getting together the final slide content for my consulting classes, um, like final report. So we're still sending our final report to our client, even though um, with all the like COVID stuff going on, our client hasn't been able to like correspond with us in a while, um, understandably. So um, especially because they focus on food security. So obviously they are very, very busy right now. Um, but we're still sending them their um, the final our our final report on what we've come up with. Um, so I just got done with my HPPA class and um, now I'm finishing the worksheet for that class, um, reading about like President Johnson's involvement in Medicare and Medicaid, um, which is pretty interesting. And while I'm doing that, I'm also watching this Zoom call on the ethics of reopening the nation. Is this a road search stop trying to follow me? So I'm on break with my for my consulting class. Um, today we've just been like reviewing our final report to our client all together and now um, we're sending it off to them and when we come back from break we're going to kind of be discussing like if we were actual paid consultants like what would we advise our client in like this time of coronavirus and sort of what coronavirus means for our client and things like that. Um, so that's going to be like kind of interesting and then I am officially done with my consulting class um, which is very exciting um, and then I have a so after this class I have a, immediately have a meeting with my um, one of my research um, like co-workers someone from my research team to talk about that too so um, yeah so I feel like I look like a like a DJ or a uh, gamer or something right now with these headphones on but it's because i just finished one of my transcriptions so i only have three left ever for this research project which is super super exciting um we have done like 26 interviews and so i've done more than 20 transcriptions um they take about two or three times longer to transcribe than the interview itself took and a lot of our all of our interviews are between like 20 minutes and over an hour but um my meeting with my um like with the other person working like the staff member working on my research project was canceled this afternoon so we're not meeting until like meeting on zoom until friday and so yeah it's gonna be really exciting starting to talk about that starting to like draw themes from our interviews starting to you know develop a code book and actually like getting into the nitty-gritty um i'm also gonna like start writing things up as we go and like everything so yeah, it's really exciting. Um, but taking a break from transcriptions um, because my next priority is getting my final paper done for my health policy and political analysis. So, so yesterday was Thursday. I have no idea what day of the week it is anymore, but yesterday apparently was Thursday. So all I was really doing was working on my um, paper my final paper, my policy memo, um, and doing, I had like a Zoom call with some friends um, from school, and so that was nice, and now I like actually have to finish this paper um, because it's due today, um, and so yeah, that's literally all I'm going to be doing is writing. It's not, it's not even that long. It's not even that long. Don't even know why I don't have it done yet. It's only like two pages that's due today and one that's due a week so three pages that I'm trying to write today I, I I I can't tell you why I don't have three pages written already but you know we're we're gonna do that today swear the cops got a gun on me maybe I'm someone that I shouldn't be so tired from the miles I'm traveling getting lost somewhere that I haven't been when all the bad shit starts happening I ain't never throwing that towel in there's a lie in the world open have been in bed all day working on my policy memo so like I said before it's in two parts so the 
first part was due today um, and I've already turned that part in and then I've just been finishing the second part which isn't due until next Friday like a week from today but I just went ahead and did it anyways because um, it's for the same policy memo so basically part one was like analyzing the policy and its limitations and then part two was making recommendations so um like for the recommendations we have this little chart to like kind of fill out as far as like um what support we think different options might have the budgetary impact different options might have future impact things like that um so we propose three options and then recommend one of them um and so it's on a specific piece of policy or a specific piece of legislation um we had a list to choose from but i decided to write about the emergency family and medical leave expansion act which um, is a part of the family's first coronavirus response act um, that kind of allows or requires employers to give paid leave for most employees um, most employers things like that so just kind of like reading through that figuring out what limitations um, what publications have talked about this which aren't many because coronavirus is obviously like an ever-evolving uh, quickly evolving thing so um, that was a little tough and then just kind of like coming up with options um, you know that could even slightly be feasible um, was also a little tough so I ended up making one of my options to not modify the um, bill the act the whatever you want to call it law um, it has been signed into law so it's technically a law um, and yeah so coming up with those when like I'm not in government and like don't know exactly the in inner workings of everything was a little tough um, but you know like that's what I'm supposed to be learning so um, yeah so it is finally done I just finished the second part as well um, and now I'm going to turn that in and that is literally the last thing I will ever turn in for my MPH and it's kind of crazy. It hasn't sank in. I'll let you know if and when it does. So this morning marked my last MPH class ever. It was my final health policy and political analysis class, which I have already turned in my final for that class. It's technically due this Friday, but it's already submitted. Therefore, I am officially done with any MPH coursework. Um, I still have, we're going to have a virtual graduation, but otherwise my time as a mailman student is pretty much done. Um, it's really weird and bittersweet. Um, I think just like the current circumstances, I haven't really, like it definitely hasn't processed. Um, maybe it will more so for the virtual graduation but i honestly think that it's not going to be until the next start of the next school year when i'm just not at mailman anymore that it fully sort of sinks in that i'm done with my mph and like in like a month or less i'll have mph after my name and that i have learned all the things that they set out to teach me um it's been a wild ride um so yeah my my virtual finals are done they were pretty much all writing and presentations which is what my finals have looked like this whole academic year pretty much anyways but um definitely again really weird ending with all the covid like quarantine isolation stuff um but you know sometimes you gotta come with a full face of makeup for your last day of school in this excellent lighting and um yeah happy graduation to all the fellow graduating students and i hope that all of your virtual finals are going well too um if you still want to see what's next for me and um more about my research or questions about the journey um please 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 like subscribe leave me comments message me on instagram Whatever you do best, and I will see you guys next week. But I've been there before, cause when she's lying in my sheets in that new t-shirt I bought, ain't no place that I gotta be, still two steps back from where I wanna be. There's a line.